You're watching Vaga Brothers. And this is Sri Lanka. I'm Alex. I'm Marco. And we're the Vaga Brothers. Brothers, vagabonds, and your go-to guides for travel tips, inspiration, and vlogs on YouTube. In this series, we're discovering the best of Sri Lanka. Ancient cities, stunning nature, rich culture, and delicious food. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Right now we are in Kandy in Sri Lanka and we are heading to Nuwaralia on one of the world's most scenic train routes. This train goes through the hill country, which is where they grow all the tea from Sri Lanka. It's supposed to be extremely beautiful and our train's about to board. Let's go. gentlemen the journey begins it's gonna take us about three and a half or four hours to climb from around 500 meters here in Kandy to nearly 1800 meters in Nuwara Elia so we're gonna be climbing up higher into tea country into the hill country it's gonna be green it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be twisty and turny and it's gonna be an adventure farther into the highlands and the scenery is just beautiful. There's just beautiful jungle hills and uh, during colonial times the British converted these hills into some of the most productive and high quality tea growing regions in the world. This train was built to export the tea from the mountains to the coast and to this day Ceylon tea is still famous worldwide. Although the train is now more for tourists and is a pretty good deal. I mean an unreserved ticket in third class, which this is third class, is only 100 rupees which is like 75 cents. Uh, and you can reserve your seats like these ones for five dollars. So it's a great deal. It takes about four hours. For now, all we gotta do is kick back, relax, and enjoy the view. train probably for about an hour now and we're finally starting to get up into the countryside. The scenery's changing, the cities are getting a little more spaced out. We're starting to see some big rolling hills but the one thing that has remained constant through the entire journey is the noise. It's a loud rickety rackety train but it's extremely scenic and it's super cool. purposes to like just export um, tea get it all around the world but it's really cool to see how it's been basically become a tourist train which is a great experience in itself
Okay, well, we have arrived in Nuara Elia. Climbed well over a thousand meters on this train ride. We're going in. Wow! After a super fun train ride, we have arrived to Nuara Elia. And oh my gosh, what a refreshing relief. The temperature is incredible. It's super pleasant, very lush, and we have a fun afternoon plan, so stick around. We have just arrived to our destination, Nuwara Elia, also known as Little England. As you can tell, with the red post box and post office. So to find out why there is a replica British village at the foot of Sri Lanka's largest mountain, we're gonna head just outside of town. So you may be wondering why we're in such a palatial setting. That's because in the late 1800s, this was actually a governor's home. It was like a vacation home. Uh, and it was a social club. There was a golf course built. Then later on, it was converted into a hotel. But nowadays, it's the best place to come to sample the rich diversity of tea from Sri Lanka. Not to mention, pick out on a little bit of afternoon high tea. do it right. We've had sweet, we've had savory, we've had these beautiful teas. We got an oolong tea, which is like a fermented tea. Um, it's famous from this part of Sri Lanka. It's famous all around the world. We got a light and a dark black tea. Okay, we got the rose tea. I got the rose and French vanilla tea, which I really like because it has a bit of floral and then also sweet, which is a really good combination. It's delicious. Funny fact, Lipton, as in like Lipton's iced tea, was started right here. Uh, Lipton was a guy who in the 1800s um, started a tea plantation. I think he was from Glasgow originally. He came here and just started making tea. And um, yeah, tea is a huge industry. Now it employs a million people in Sri Lanka and it accounts for like 4% of all the entire island is dedicated to making tea. That's a lot of tea. So again, cheers to tea. <laughs> Nuwara Alia was made famous by tea. This is the tea region in Sri Lanka. It's the home of Ceylon tea. And so we've come to Pedro Estates and we're gonna learn a little bit more about tea culture and production here in central Sri Lanka. Now we are at Pedro State, Nuwara Elia, one of the prime properties under Halis Plantation, Kalinil Plantation. It is uh, situated uh, around 6,800 feet above the mean sea level. So one of the best tea plantations in Sri Lanka. Here in Pedro State we have tea around 660 hectares. Per year we produce around eight, uh, 830,000 kilos.
Well, it is super cool to come here and to see where tea comes from, especially having been in Taiwan and China where the oolong teas from Sri Lanka, the ones that are grown on this estate are highly prized. Um, obviously, it's difficult work to get the tea from the tree to your cup. And the people who are responsible for picking the tea are actually a number of women who are descendants from the original Tamil laborers that were brought here from southern India during British colonial times over 150 years ago. Uh, they are paid by weight and each person gathers about 20 kilos of tea by hand every single day. So learn how the process is done. We're going to meet up with a local guide who's going to show us how to pick Ceylon tea. Now this is the ideal leaf. This is the way to pick. Like two leaves and a bud. Sometimes we can go for like this picking also, see? Two leaves and a bud, another leaf also. And this is the hard leaf, see? It's a dark green. This is normally we are not picking. It fall in down and become fertilizer. All right, so right now we are getting tired. We're gonna be picking tea. across and the stick above the leaf only we have to pluck it ah. like two leaves and a bud or three leaf okay uh -huh. three leaf and then like this yeah two like leaves this? and a bud like that yes. what's the bud two this is the bud. bud how do i know it's ah. gonna land actually it's another leaf before it's look bud okay so this One and a half kilogram fresh leaf become one kilo of black tea. Wow. wow. Two point five gram for one cup of tea. Wow. That we need we need minimum like a uh, like ten gram leaves. Yeah. Become two point five gram like that. Wow. There's no ten gram leaf. No. You don't think about that when you're having a cup of tea. No. How like, much effort goes into it. People just like drink tea like it's, you know, it's something if you buy something at the supermarket, you're not thinking about how much work goes yeah. into it, but this is really And now difficult. we will. I definitely would take it would take me a very long time to get my daily quota. Uh -huh. I think I'm saying but I think it's also like the skill is knowing uh -huh. which ones you can pick because uh -huh. right now every single one I'm looking at I'm like, "Ah, uh, but yes, when they no. started, uh, the workers can't do that much fast. Yeah. But they get the experience. Sometimes yeah. some ladies can pluck more than 18 kilos. Right. 20, 25 kilos also they can pluck. And this is a traditional job, right? Traditional so job. How many generations of people? Maybe three, four generations. Wow. Yeah. Like your mother and your mother before yes. sort yes. of thing. Wow. wow. inside the factory just to get a little bit better of an idea how tea is processed once it's picked. This is a huge factory. It's obviously uh, been around for a while, but the machines still work, everything still functions, and uh, it's really cool just to see how many different stages tea goes through before it ends up in your cup. Well, it's been an excellent day uh, exploring the highlands, the tea, the train, everything was really cool. What a beautiful, place. Beautiful, beautiful views. Nuwara Elia, like the, definitely the coolest, both temperature wise and vibe wise, in my opinion, place that we've been so far on the trip. But, you know, taking the train from Candy up through, you know, the rolling hills, then getting to try the tea and to understand where it comes from and understand the process uh, and meet the people who are picking it and making it 
just a really, really cool experience overall and definitely one of the highlights so far on the trip. So stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go down to Ella, which is like the backpacking center of uh, Sri Lanka. It should be really cool. We're getting more into the hills and the jungles out here in Sri Lanka. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, it'll be nature vibes, hiking, exploration. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Big thumbs up, share it with your travel buddies. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any vlogs. And in the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Peace.